Guys, I am back. I can't tell you how excited I am to be back. This is probably the first watch video I've had in, <clears throat> I don't know, three months. As most of you know, I've moved to another state, started another job, started a law degree. I've just been really busy. So what can I say? Um, I'm not going to, oh, what's all this? Okay, so I don't know what this watch is, but I'm guessing by the color it is going to be an Invicta. I don't do too many Invictas, right? Oh, from, from Joma Shop. Okay, I think I know what this one is. All right, I'm going to start doing a couple. I'll go into more detail later, but let's check this out. And you'll have to, I'll have to apologize because... I don't have my workshop yet. I'm actually using my daughter's Lego table. So <laughs> let's see what this is. Oh, look at that. Very cool. I think I can dig this. This is the Invicta Pro Diver gold plated. All right, let's watch this video. Invicta is affordable craftsmanship. My name is Sandy, Sandy Lee, and I am uh, the chief designer of the Invicta watches. Details is one of the key points of Invicta watches. So hopefully you guys like that video. Um, I'm just going to say right up front, I'm a little bit out of practice doing this because it's been three months. So I'm going to talk while I remove all this stuff um, so that I'm not just wasting your time. <clears throat> uh, this watch is, uh, I got it from Joma Shop. I paid $52.49. Now, I know that this watch, this, you know, is the retail $395. Now, I understand that that isn't exactly what uh, people expect to pay. $52.49 was pretty good. Um, there weren't too many of them uh, available, so not, uh, you know, not a huge... Um, I mean, so it was a discount, but it, obviously, this I, I think I probably pretty much paid about what it's worth. Um, I, I'm happy with it. It's a little bit smaller in terms of case size. Um, I'm going to be putting this one up for sale, but I will wear it first, so I'll sell it as a as a used one because I do still like it. Um, you know, with most of these watches, of course, they're like heavily covered. Uh, I'll just go right into the dive specifications while I'm going over this. 
Uh, it is uh, being sold as a dive watch. It's a pro diver uh, that is 200 meters. Um, you know, 200 meters is a big deal, right? That's, uh, um, let's see, what is it? That's twice the length of a normal high school football field. So that's nothing to, nothing to scoff at. Uh, it does not have a, a locking um, crown. So it is what it is. But 200 meters is still good. Let's see how this thing fits. So I have seven and a half inch wrists. Um, it comes with a nice wide band. This is probably nine inch person. You know, the case size a little bit small, but it's got a little bit of bling, so it kind of makes up for it, I think. Um, this this does click. I'll find out and put up put down at the bottom um, what the. Uh, how many clicks it is. I think it's probably, what, what did we say the other one was? Cause I did another one of these and I'll put that right up there. You can see, and, and by the way, I got to fix this table. I'm sorry, it's shaking. This is just what I, this is just what I got to work with until I can build my workshop. But um, I, I got one of these before, uh, but it was the, just the normal stainless diver one. And I think it said it had uh, 90 clicks. So I'll double check, but um, still pretty nice. It's got an anti-reflective supposedly uh, crystal, but it's just normal hardened mineral crystal. It's got, if you can see, it's got the little date window. Um, but otherwise, it's uh, it's pretty nice. 316 stainless steel case, just like all of them. You know, it's good high quality. Um, and it is actually gold plated. It's 23 karat gold plated. Uh, that is legitimate. Um, you know, it's not overly expensive. I couldn't tell if it was rolled gold, but this does not look rolled gold. I think this is simply just you know, where they, where they brush it on or whatever this, although I don't think this part is, I think it's the case and the, the bracelet, but I don't think this clasp, this looks like it's just brushed stainless. Um, if I can find out more on why I will put it down, but it's, it's good quality. I mean, what you're getting here is actually decent. These are solid, these are solid bracelet links. They're not stamped and rolled, so uh, I'm a big fan of that because I do not like stamped and rolled. I think the middle ones are, but these outer ones are solid. It's got a screw back case, um, and it is nice looking. Um, it's got the Invicta logo etched on the bottom, on the side. And you know what, I'm sorry, I didn't get my, my rags, so I can't really clean it, but um, it's, you know, Invicta, you got the logos everywhere. I mean, you guys have kind of seen uh, a lot of the uh, the Invicta. So, some of the watches are a little crazy. Some of them are uh, a little bit classier, um, but it is what it is. And by the way, if I sound nasally, it's because I'm literally just getting off COVID. Um, and yes, I was vaccinated, but for whatever reason, I still got it. So um, I took the Pfizer for whatever that's worth. Um, but it's a good watch. Let's start doing some of the measurements. Um, I don't ha even have my pad. I got to look for everything. Found as many. Um, oh, is this dead? Oh God! All right, this thing is dead. <laughs> this thing is dead. I just right, so we'll have to see. It says it's about 40, 40 millimeters. So, so that's pretty good. And then the case. Uh, so the case is about 40. The depth is is about. Let's see. 12 the lug width is about oh gosh you know everything's dead um it says 20 but i'm not sure that's right i might be looking at this wrong oh no it's 18 it's 18 okay yep okay cool um, all right, let's see if this battery works. <laughs> Everything is dead. This, well, this is the first time. Oh, good, good, yes, it's not dead. All right, let's see what the weight is. It's it's not too heavy, it's kind of light. 122, 122, we'll say. So, not bad. Um, I can't really make it dark in here because unfortunately what I had before was a nice workshop and I don't have that now. Um, I'm using a Lego table, but uh, let's see if we can make this show up. Yeah, you know, you can kind of see. It's 
not gonna work. Got a little pip in the top there. It's kind of cool. All right, well, um, oh, gosh, I'm forgetting. Um, it has a, what is it, a Miyota, a Japanese quartz movement. It's kind of nice, I'll put pictures up at the top there so you can kind of see it. Um, I think good quality. For $52.49, I pretty much paid what it's worth. Uh, I don't think I would pay much more than this. Uh, I think I'm mostly happy with it. Uh, I'm gonna wear it a couple times and then I'm gonna sell it as used. So, and I'll probably end up, you know, <laughs> I don't know. Not making any money, I'll, I'll, I'll lose money of course, but um, not bad. I would definitely recommend it if you are interested in something that was good quality, uh, you know, sort of in the style of the old, what would you call it, early 80s, mid 80s, and late 70s kind of gold diver watches. I think it looks good. Uh, most people say this is tacky and they're probably right, but I kind of like some of this uh, off the beaten path stuff. Anyways, if you like this video, please subscribe. Uh, I will start back up my watch channel by doing at least one a week. And then as I build my workshop, I'll have a separate series where you can kind of see what I'm doing. I've got a couple options. Um, I'll show a picture right up here of my current, my previous workshop, so you can see what it looked like. And then I'll also show a picture of my three car garage, which I'm thinking of building a workshop in, but I don't know if I need a huge workshop to do watches. So I might just build a little workshop um, in this uh, massive closet that I have that goes into the stairs. So we'll see. Um, but uh, you guys can tell me what you think. Uh, as always, please leave any comments at the bottom. And uh, I appreciate you watching. I don't make any money, but I do enjoy this. And I get to try a lot of watches. So, and I like the community. So, all right. Thanks a lot.